In 1974, The Towering Inferno not only soared to the top of the box office, but also became a stage for off-screen drama. Among the star-studded cast, William Holden faced challenges with an actress whose lack of reliability led to a heated confrontation, revealing the tensions that can arise in the high-stakes environment of filmmaking. The Towering Inferno, released in 1974, stands as a significant collaboration between Warner Brothers and 20th Century Fox. This film, notable for its grand scale, was an adaptation of two separate novels, which provided a rich narrative foundation. The production brought together an extensive cast of actors, each contributing to the dynamic portrayal of a catastrophic fire in a skyscraper. The ensemble cast, comprising well-known actors of the time, played pivotal roles in depicting the various facets of the disaster and the human stories intertwined with it. The film's production was a considerable undertaking, reflecting the ambition to create a cinematic experience that was both visually compelling and emotionally engaging. The Towering Inferno not only showcased the technical prowess of the era, but also highlighted the collaborative spirit of two major studios coming together to create a memorable piece of cinema. In the 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, the set design and construction played a critical role in bringing the story to life on screen. The filmmakers employed a combination of miniatures, matte paintings, and partial sets to create the illusion of the towering skyscraper that is central to the film's plot. The promenade deck, which is a key location within the narrative, was one of the most elaborate sets constructed for the movie. It spanned an impressive 11,000 square feet and featured a cloth painting as its backdrop which added depth and realism to the scenes. This attention to detail in the set design allowed the filmmakers to craft a believable and visually stunning environment that supported the dramatic action of the movie. During the production of The Towering Inferno in 1974, Paul Newman and Steve McQueen experienced a competitive tension that influenced their performances and interactions on set. This rivalry stemmed from a struggle over top billing and equal screen time, leading to a challenging working environment. Newman later reflected on the experience with regret, acknowledging the strain the competition with McQueen placed on their professional relationship. The tension was palpable, affecting not only their personal interactions, but also the dynamic between their characters in the film. Despite this, both actors delivered compelling performances that contributed to the movie's success. However, the off-screen rivalry remained a notable aspect of their collaboration on this project. During the filming of The Towering Inferno in 1974, the dynamics on set were a study in professional courtesy amid competition. Paul Newman and Steve McQueen, two of Hollywood's leading men at the time, put aside their professional rivalry to foster a congenial atmosphere when not in front of the camera. They would often be seen sharing light moments with the crew, offering popcorn and beer, which helped ease the tension inherent in the high-stakes production of such a large-scale film. In contrast, William Holden took a more confrontational approach with his co-star Faye Dunaway, addressing her directly about issues of reliability during the shoot. This interaction highlighted the varying approaches to work ethic and professionalism among the cast, contributing to the unique environment that surrounded the creation of this classic disaster film. The 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, showcased a significant advancement in the use of special effects for its time. The production employed several camera teams to capture the extensive action sequences from various angles, enhancing the visual experience. A highlight of the film's effects was a daring stunt performed by actor Steve McQueen. In this scene, McQueen's character makes a bold leap from a helicopter onto the top of a skyscraper engulfed in flames. This particular stunt was one of many that contributed to the film's reputation for its ambitious and visually striking special effects sequences. The efforts to create realistic fire and rescue scenes were critical in conveying the perilous situation within the towering skyscraper, making the audience feel the intensity of the inferno. In the production of the 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, the casting process saw a notable change for one of its roles. Faye Dunaway, an actress known for her strong performances, was eventually cast for a part that had initially been offered to several other actresses. Catherine Ross, Raquel Welch, and Natalie Wood were among those considered for this role. However, Natalie Wood turned down the opportunity, citing her pregnancy and issues with the script as her reasons for not participating in the project. 
This decision led to Faye Dunaway taking on the role, adding her talent to the ensemble cast of the disaster film, which became known for its dramatic portrayal of a skyscraper fire and the ensuing rescue efforts. In the production of the 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, the music played a significant role in setting the tone and atmosphere of the movie. John Williams, who composed the score, faced initial criticism from the producer, Erwin Allen. The concern was specifically about the music not meeting the expectations for the film's dramatic scenes. To address this, John Williams made a minor yet effective change to the composition. By adding a cymbal crash at a crucial moment, he enhanced the impact of the score. This adjustment proved to be successful as it brought the necessary tension and drama to the scenes, aligning the music more closely with the producer's vision for the film's auditory experience. The score of The Towering Inferno thus became an integral part of the movie's storytelling, effectively complementing the visual spectacle with its auditory elements. The 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, achieved significant commercial success upon its release. It garnered a total gross of $174 million, marking it as a standout film of its time. The release strategy played a key role in its financial triumph. Initially premiering in a limited number of theaters, the film's availability broadened progressively, reaching audiences across various cities over a span of several months. This approach allowed the towering inferno to maintain a presence in the box office, drawing viewers over an extended period and contributing to its overall earnings. The film's performance at the box office reflects its popularity and the audience's favorable reception during that era. During the production of the 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, there were notable instances of tension arising from the professional conduct of the cast. Faye Dunaway, one of the lead actresses, was frequently late to the set and absent on several occasions. This behavior caused significant frustration among the crew and her co-stars disrupting the shooting schedule and straining the production's workflow. The situation escalated to the point where William Holden, a veteran actor and one of Dunaway's co-stars, felt compelled to address the issue directly with her. His confrontation is reported to have had a positive outcome as it led to a noticeable improvement in Dunaway's punctuality and presence on set, thereby helping to alleviate some of the tensions and facilitating a more efficient working environment for the remainder of the filming process. In the 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, Steve McQueen took on a hands-on approach to his role, demonstrating a strong commitment to authenticity in action sequences. He performed his own stunts, which included a particularly perilous one where he jumped from a helicopter. This decision was not taken lightly, as it involved significant risk. The production team had reservations about allowing such a dangerous stunt, but ultimately, Steve McQueen's insistence prevailed, and the stunt was executed as he had envisioned. His dedication to the craft and willingness to take on such a challenging physical feat added a layer of realism to the film and showcased his skills not just as an actor, but as a capable stunt performer. This move by McQueen is reflective of his reputation for being a hands-on actor who often engaged directly with his action scenes, further cementing his legacy in the film industry. In the 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, writer Sterling Sillifan incorporated real-world fire safety measures into the screenplay. He consulted with a firefighter to understand the necessary precautions one should take in case of such an emergency. One key piece of advice was the importance of checking for functional sprinkler systems before entering any building. This detail underscored the film's commitment to portraying a realistic scenario and highlighted the crucial role of fire prevention systems in safeguarding lives and property during a blaze. The inclusion of these measures served to educate viewers on the importance of fire safety and prevention. In the 1974 film, The Towering Inferno, actor William Holden sought the highest position in the cast list. However, he was ultimately billed after Steve McQueen and Paul Newman. Despite not receiving top billing, his performance contributed to the film's overall acclaim. The Towering Inferno was well received by critics and audiences alike, leading to its success at the box office. The film's portrayal of a catastrophic fire in a skyscraper captured the attention of moviegoers, and the ensemble cast, including Holden's significant role, was praised for their compelling performances. The movie's achievement is reflected in its positive critical reception and financial profitability. 
The Towering Inferno, released in 1974, is a film that belongs to the disaster genre, which saw a surge in popularity during the early 1970s. This era witnessed a fascination with large-scale cinematic depictions of calamities, and The Towering Inferno was a significant contributor to this trend. The film's narrative revolves around a catastrophic fire that engulfs the state-of-the-art skyscraper during its dedication ceremony. As the blaze escalates, the story follows the desperate efforts of the building's architect, the fire chief, and the party attendees to survive and contain the inferno. The movie's success was bolstered by the public's interest in disaster scenarios, which provided a thrilling cinematic experience. The towering inferno stood out for its impressive special effects, star-studded cast, and the intense drama of a high-stakes survival scenario, all of which were key elements that resonated with audiences and solidified the film's position as a memorable entry in the disaster film genre. 